Hello traders, it is still July 13th, it's 3.40 p.m. We're 20 minutes away from North American uh, or East Coast trading. And as you can see, um, nothing pretty much has happened since Europe closed at 11.30 a.m. this morning, um, which by happenstance is the same time at which I repurchased my short from yesterday. Uh, so basically what happened um, yesterday, we, yesterday was news day if you recall, we had this initial spike and then we dropped um, we, we, and uh, we climbed back up to a high, uh, just before uh, news I, should add, I bought short, um, we dropped initially, we bounced back up and then we kind of faded into the afternoon and I sold at 45.45 um, just ahead of closing. Um, in European and Asian trading, we saw new lows for the week, um, but be ahead of North American Open, we shot right back up, and basically we climbed um, right from 8 a.m. all the way through to uh, Europe's markets close at, at 11.30, um, and we touched at a high of 46.27 just after those markets closed. Um, I bought literally I think a couple of minutes before the markets closed at the high uh, at the time of 46.22. Um, <clears throat> so really lucky play for me today. Um, unfortunately we haven't really dropped um, which is of course what I'm expecting to happen um, but uh, we we did fade to uh, 45.80 ish or 45 um, well 45.89 or just above 45.80 um, initially, um, and uh, but basically, as you can tell, uh, we're kind of hanging on for dear life at 46. Um, whether that means that bulls are going to ride us up to 47 tomorrow, or whether this is the last hurrah and we die, um, is anyone's guess. It's 50/50, folks. Um, you know, a lot of people will tell you one thing or another based on what this chart looks like, and the reality is that. Half of us are going to be surprised tomorrow, and half of us are going to feel really smart. Um, and it has nothing to do with anything. It's just trader mentality, um, you know, whatever you want to call it. Um, but whatever happens, happens. If we drop, I'm going to be looking to profit on these on this short from today as well as my previous shorts um, with a target price starting at around 44. Um, if we climb, then I'm going to be looking at adding to my shorts near um, a price at around 47, um, which is also where I have my longs. Um, so uh, up above 47, I'll be looking to exit um, at least one of those longs. Um, well, and targeting kind of preferably a price at 48 plus. At about 49, my entire long position is uh, break even. Um, or just below 49. So we'll see what happens. I don't expect that sort of move tomorrow, um, but where we end up uh, tomorrow or where we end up actually after markets close today is anyone's guess. Um, that's my plan. Um, yes, I could take a small profit um, by exiting the short from today if I believe that we were going higher, but honestly, what I believe doesn't really matter. Um, taking a small profit or breaking even is not a great play. If you keep doing that over and over, you're just wasting your time. So I'm going to wait it out. I think I'll have a chance to profit on this short. Um, if not tomorrow, then next week maybe. Uh, and in the meantime, I'm just going to wait it out. So uh, let me know what you guys have planned and if you guys were able to profit anything, uh, profit any at all from today's action. Uh, hit me up down below on YouTube in the comments or on tradingjournal.ca where you can find more information on my portfolio and trades and charts. And I'll touch base with you guys before markets open tomorrow on Friday. Good luck and cheers.